Hello and welcome everyone to this video on creating your first SAP Build app by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Welcome back everyone. Today is that big day. We are uh, going to build our first SAP Build app application. And guess what? You don't need a PhD computer science to create an application in SAP Build app. <laughs> That's Side to build apps, anyone can be a citizen developer. We'll be using a visual approach, dragging and dropping pre built components to bring your idea into life. No complex coding, just pure app building fun. So, whether you are dreaming of simple task tracker or a complex data visualization tool, SAP Build App is here to make it happen. In this video, we'll, we will walk through every step of process for brainstorming your app concept to deploy your own app creation. Get ready to unleash your inner inventor and build something truly remarkable. Let's dive in. So you have to come to SAP Builds lobby. Now you have to click on create button as we have discussed earlier. You have to come to click on build an application. Then SAP build apps. Then you have to click on web and mobile application. You have to give the name of your application and let's give it a, a name. First application and give a description. Let description also be the same. It is not mandatory to give the description, but name field is mandatory. So after that, you have to click on create. Then a new po uh, new window will be open, and then it will be provided by SAP Build Apps. So like it is a pop up is showing creating a new app. They are creating a template for you. And here, uh, here we go. The template is created. By default, they have given a headline uh, and a text for you. This is uh, all the place uh, on extreme left. You will be getting all the components, like what components you can uh, use in SAP Builder. So they can be spinner, image, text, title, icon, card, forms also, form layout, uh, layout, list. And also some primitive design tools are also present here. By me, if you have created any uh, component, UI component, then those components will be shown here. And install. This is a marketplace. Uh, by default, the SAP will not provide only these UI components. But if you want more, you can come to marketplace and search. Like you, here you will be getting search. Or if you know the name of the component, you can directly search for that component. So coming back to our home page. So this is UI Canvas uh, where you will be creating your application. And on extreme right, you will be getting the property style and layout. So uh, let me launch this application for first to show you how the template will look like if we haven't done anything. So you have to come to this launch section and click on open uh, preview portal. After that, a new window will be opening. Now you have to click on Open Web Preview. After clicking on Open Web Preview, all the application which you have created in SAP Build Apps will be shown here. You have to find the name of your application as we have created first application. So we'll be clicking on that. So on clicking on Open, then it will load or see. This is the first application. We haven't done anything. The things which are shown on UI Canvas headline in the sample text is the sample text and headline is showing here. So let's change it. Let's change headlines. We come to headlines. Uh, here you have to come to content and give it to a name. Let's give it first application. And come to text and remove this sample text and write this is our first build app after that after creating uh like well my bad uh, spelling of first is wrong yeah after making changes or adding a removing component you have to click on this save button after that save button you can go again and la launch the app or launch the app and repeat the same step or you can also visit to the website this will automatically refresh whenever you make changes on the UI canvas, it will be reflected here. So we have given our first application's name and this is our build app as a text. 
let's use some more UI components. Let's uh, let's use an image. So drag. We have dragged and dropped this image component here. You can place it anywhere, like where where you feel like. If I want to put it here, so we can use it here. So my bad. There are two UI components of image. So you have put your uh, your image component between your first application and text. So click on your image component. Then on source, you need to choose the path from where you want to import your image. So click on this. This will say. Uh, drag and drop your files here or you can click to upload let's click to upload the image yeah i will select one image for that so it will load the asset after loading you have to click choose the image after choosing the image the image will come here and after clicking a save and going to our app preview see the image has been added but the image is too large you can also change the layout of the image come to the layout section adjust the width and height let's go to the advanced section see here are too many options you can also use pre-default sections like here create a uh, growth full bit fit content this also there so after every thing exact size you can give the exact width and height let's give exact let me check what will be suitable 75 no let's give it 100 pixels as width and height will be 250 pixels let's give it to 250 pixels oh sorry that will be looking horrible so let's give it 150 after giving uh height width as 100 pixel and height as 150 pixels let's save it and move to the our website see the image has been adjusted you can you can adjust the images on or size of the image according to yourself. Uh, let ba move back to the SAP build UI canvas. Uh, let's use some more components. Like if you want to add a button in your comp uh, in your build up, drag and drop the button component. So the button will be in coming in, and after clicking on save, uh, see button has been appeared. If you want to rename as button to, to anything else, uh, you want to write any different text. So you can also do that. Let me go back to our screen. See, button, you have to click on the component button. You have to come here and give it message. Or oh, let's give it save. Name of the button should be save. So after clicking it, the name of the button will be replaced to save button. You can use or you can use multiple components and drag and drop. Let me show you something more. This is called logic canvas. The the background earlier we are adding and removing the details in UI canvas. Now this is a logic canvas. Let's give some functionality to this save button. After clicking on save button, there should be an toaster message coming. So drag and drop this toaster to here and connect like this you have to connect these two after connecting this come to see uh, come to this dialog and give it the value uh, let's give the value hello and let's save it let's put it down come here whenever you will be clicking on save button then a toaster message will come hello how beautiful it looks you can also go through multiple UI cam components, drag and drop them, use them according to your need. Let's uh, do something more. Like if we, like now the background of this application is looking like white and uh, like odd, odd. You can give some color to your uh, app background app. Uh, sorry, um, uh, app background also. So after cl on clicking on any place where there is no component on your page, you click on any place. Like I'm clicking here down. So our home page is selected. Come to style, app background, app background. You can choose any image. So let's choose this yellow image. So see your app background has changed to say uh, yellow button. After clicking on save button, you will come. So your application will look like that. So let's wrap up for the session. We will moving to more UI components is next video. This was our first application. So thank you for the session. We'll be we'll be meeting you in the next session. Thank you. 